Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Bill from Open Door Baptist Church in Moorhead City, and thanks for coming back for another word of encouragement. This is a weekday video series that we're putting out to help all of us to take our eyes and our ears off of the messaging that is being uh, just delivered and served up to us constantly in our society and online and wherever you're, you're getting media from these days, to take our eyes off of that and to put them back on the focus uh, on God's words of encouragement in his scripture, the Bible. And uh, today we are going to look at a beautiful hymn, a poem, a song in scripture. And you might be thinking, well, yesterday we saw Psalm 11, uh, but today we're going to actually look at a hymn coming out of the book of Romans, Romans chapter 11. Uh, in Romans chapter 11, uh, Paul concludes this chapter in our translations in our Bible um, with this hymn. Listen, Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. His, how unsearchable his judgments, how untraceable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has ever first given to him and has to be repaid for from him and through him? And to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. Well, uh, these words here at, at the end of chapter 11 of the book of Romans are, are, are like a script, really, for us to take, to grab onto, to sing back to the Lord in prayer. Oh, here, where Paul talks about both the wisdom and the knowledge of God. You know, there, there's a difference, and God is not lacking in either. His, his wisdom and his knowledge, uh, they are rich, rich in their depth. But also, uh, he goes on to, to put us kind of in comparison and to, to humble us as we need to come to God uh, with humility to say that his, his wisdom is so deep that it is unsearchable, and his ways are so uh, are so uh, knowledgeable, they're so full of knowledge uh, and understanding that they are untraceable. We cannot trace them. Uh, he, he then quotes actually from the Old Testament here uh, where he says, who has known the mind of God? Who has been his counselor? Or who has first given something to him that he should be repaid? Obviously, the answer to that is no one, no one. No one has done these things. But then he concludes, and I hope that this is where your heart is today, to look into the Word of God and to simply be in awe of what you see there today, uh, that all, all things are from him and through him and to him, and also, finally, to him be all the glory forever. Amen. Well, I hope that this is your script for today. Take this, these words of encouragement and, and blessing and bless the Lord with your soul today with these words and these concepts coming out of the, the final hymn of praise from Romans chapter 11. And I also hope that you will tune in tomorrow for another word of encouragement.